Santi Rao. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and my practice is all about neck and back problems, spinal problems and spinal surgery. Those of us who have back problems and we are not able to find out what causes the pain, we have to be suspicious of the sacroiliac joint. How do we diagnose sacroiliac problems? There are various things we do. First of all, we see where the pain is and then we try and do various physical tests with you lying on the table, on your stomach, on your back, on your side and do various tests around the pelvis. Once we've got this thing ironed out pretty well and we say this is where your problem seems to be, we still have to prove it. Then we say now let's do some further testing with needles and we can put a needle in here under x-ray control, put a needle in there and inject some medicine. And if it looks like that relieves your pain and we are satisfied that that was diagnostic of sacroiliac joint pain, then we can conclude that you have a sacroiliac joint problem. You could see a chiropractor, you could go and see a physical therapist, you could exercise on your own at home. You could try anti-inflammatory medicine and see if these things bring your pain down to the level where you can manage. But if you can't manage it, then we can say, listen, the pain is from here. Can we join this joint together? Fuse it, we call it. Fuse it together so that the source of pain is now eliminated. And that's called a sacroiliac fusion. Now you have to decide whether this pain is manageable or not. And if you feel that it's not manageable, we'll talk about surgery. Fortunately, I am able to tell you that the sacroiliac joint fusion, as it's done now with the eye fuse procedure, is quite minimal. The instruments, which are the eye fuse implants, are driven in from the ilium into the sacrum. So it's a sacroiliac fusion. The procedure itself is quite safe and what we call minimal. These implants are triangular in shape and that's because it provides more rotational stability so it doesn't turn like many of the other implants might if they're round. You don't have to wait for relief, you should see relief right away. Many people who don't do LF or lumbar fusion may have sacroiliac joint problems as the cause of their persistent pain. If you're suffering from back pain and you think the sacroiliac joint may be the cause of your pain, have it checked out.